Oh, you're by yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My kind of guy. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single man alone up front. Perfect. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You really, you really don't want me to talk to you. I'm really sorry. I've never eaten a snail, have you? No. Yeah, it's going to be gross. Scissor Brothers! Welcome back to the original <laughs> Scissor Bros. Where this is the only, late night edition. Where there's only positivity here. Because you know what? <laughs> there was a couple episodes ago that, you yeah, know. Dude, speak your mind. You uh, know what? I want to stand up for you. No. I want to stand up for you. No, no, no. I'm not uh, going to address that. I'm not going to. Okay, 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 okay. I, well, I was going to do it. I was going to address it. But go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> okay. People got upset with me. That's fine. You know what? It's He's fine. He's a good guy. <laughs> Cut him some slack. <laughs> Cut him some slack. The way that thing was edited, you're not you're not a bad guy. It's, I can vouch for you. I can you're vouch. A good, you're a good guy. I can vouch for you. You're a good person. You know what he just did? I was hungry. I only ate a bagel today at Starbucks early on, the everything bagel. He brought me out a peanut butter think bar and a bottle of water. Because you know why? And a water. Think about it. <laughs> oh, my God. Think, think about, about it. it. Think about it. Peanut butter bar. Bar. Protein bar. Yeah. Can you Delicious. imagine having your own protein bar, Steve? Oh my God. You know, oh, it's just your it's your head on a piece of jism that's like on a bar. Be be nice to me. <laughs> be nice to me. <laughs> um I would have sesame seeds in it. Or on the uh, the coating, the chocolate coating. Uh, you'd have sesame seeds on your protein bar? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um but let him know what happened, dude. Because there's a, a, we've been here like five hours. We haven't been here that a long. Time. We've been here a while. Tell him what we've been doing. Look at how great the set looks. Well, we have, you know, if you if you notice uh, last episode with Polly, um, mm -hmm. Steve's uh, corner has a new background, mm -hmm. and then um, <laughs> we put a new background behind me too. Same one for me, but just mm -hmm. just new. Absolutely. Updated it. That mm -hmm. was uh, starting to get worn from uh, it being up over a year. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, dude. Do you know so how many episodes? thanks for sticking with us for almost a whole year, everyone. Well, it's been over we've, a year. We've made it. Dude, we're coming up on over a year, like we're making a year and it, a half. We're making it happen, folks. It's you like know? a year and Keeping seven or eight positive. months. Mm -hmm. um, can I give a shout out? I don't know if y'all tune into the World Cup. It's pro it'd probably be ended by now, but I want to give some love to South Korea, their national team, the U.S. national team. Who made the round of 16, by the way. That's huge, right? Round of 16, USA. Christian Pulisic, good job. Aronson, good job. McKinney, or McKinley, forgot the real last name. Good job. Uh, Son from South Korea, great job. Yeah, I, um, I watched Team USA lose. Yeah. W what game was that? Uh, I don't know. Who are they playing? What Norway? Is that right? Norway was Norway wasn't in the world. Cup. Whoops, Sweden. No, nope. Sweden wasn't in the world. Cup. It was one of those white teams, <laughs> like super European. You gotta get this one right, Ryan. Will Danish. You they were in. Is that it? Denmark. Mm. I don't think they were. I don't in the think same they, I don't think they're in the same one. Do you know what you're talking about when it comes to world football really. soccer? <laughs> 
I watched them lose to this team though. <laughs> Uh, they lost to Eng no, they tied England, and that's what's that surprised me because England has a great squad. Sure. They have world class players. Um, Ryan, look, can you fact check that real quick? Ryan, uh, the United States, uh, their group stage, their group, their bracket, their group. Uh, they lost to was it? It wasn't Senegal. It was. It was. Uh, the group. Who they played? It play wasn't last? Norway. Oh, Netherlands. Netherlands. The, ne the Netherlands beat them. Okay. Netherlands. Okay. Wales? Netherlands. Netherlands. Netherlands beat them. Right? Well, their group is England, Iran, and Wales. Oh. But didn't Netherlands play USA? Round of 16. Round of 16, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one, yeah, round of 16. I yeah, I they watched got that. their asses beat I know. 3 to 1's down. rough. Korea got beat down by Brazil. Beat down. Mm-hmm. But Brazil's got world class players. G Gabriel Martinelli, uh, Gabriel Jesus, Neymar. So it's like, how can you blame them? They, but they beat Portugal. The man? Shout out to my main man, Portugal. We love your music, man. No, Portugal, the national. Are team. you going to. They have Ronaldo. Are you going to play flute on their next album? They invited you to Portland for the next time they're recording. Well, you asked me. So. Do, are they still watching our stuff? Yeah. Portugal, this is for you. And that's just a taste. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. That's just a taste, Portugal. Give me a chance. Dude. Steve, can I can I thank you for letting me play with you? You're welcome, dude. Thanks. Man. I mean, I've played with just world class musicians. Dude, you've let me give a shout out to Paul McCartney. So to my main man, Paul. Sorry, I missed your birthday, but I'll, I'll catch up with you during the holidays. Okay. He reached out. We're tight, dude. Me and Paul. You know about him? Who? Paul McCartney. What what did he do? Ben on the run. Ben on the run. Ben on the run. Ben on the run. Keep going. Ben on the run. You know what I'm realizing about you? <laughs> you know the choruses I know. to so many songs. <laughs> But to I don't know the so lyrics. many songs. But I don't know the but lyrics. But the verses. I don't know the verses. I realize <laughs> I know. you do not know. I, at I know. All. I've always been like that. I've always been like that. I'm and, an '80s kid. And I love that I'm about you, man. Older. I'm a little older. I grew up during MTV when they played music videos. So I'm sorry. You know. No apologies. No Tom apologies. DeLong, shame on you. We're still here. We'll still accept you if you want to get on Scissor Bros. You're gonna have to email us. Shame on you, Tom. Hey, man. You know what? What you'd like? What? I've got a new Blink 182 stand up bit that's been working. Good. Mm -hmm. Are you are you um thrashing Tom in it? A little. There you go. <laughs> Shame on you, Tom. No, I got love for Blink. Um speaking of uh new bits, can I tell you about um cuz I you know, I was just in Pittsburgh and I I reused a certain uh airline company Okay, are you with me? And I have a impression that it's Spirit Airlines. I think that these people are a part of like a, a comedy like workshop group. Cause remember that that the steward, uh, the the flight attendant last time he he it was telling jokes. I feel like Spirit Airlines has like a Second City Groundlings kind of comedy workshop going on. Like all, like uh, especially the male. Um, I guess they're referred to as stewards, flight attendants. Man, they're doing full on comedy routines. What do you? What do you mean they're doing full on comedy routines? They're like literally using that platform to like do to do crowd work and tell joke tell jokes. I. It's I'll, a full thing, I'll just, dude. I'll just Spirit tell, Airlines. I'll just tell you this, if. There was a, a flight attendant doing crowd work when I'm trying to... What would you do? No, let's play this out. What would you do? 
I don't. Would think, it bother you? It would bother me. I don't think I'd do anything. I'd probably just like be. You like, wouldn't stand up and be like, "Let me show you how it's done." Hey everybody, Jeremiah no, Watkins here. I'm no. not. A, I'm not. A, I'm not a villain in an '80s movie. You, you wouldn't do like a Bane. Hey bud. Hey bud. Hey, sit down. Let me tell you how the professional. Give me that it. little speaker in your hand, you nerd. Yeah. No, you wouldn't do that. No, I just judge silently. You wouldn't roll your eyeballs. Yeah, I would. I'd probably put in my he- headphones even deeper into my my skull. He's talking over the speaker. You know. He was doing jokes over the, the entire speaker. <laughs> He was, he was doing jokes, but then I actually caught his some of his a minute worth of crowd work of him doing crowd you work. You footage of this? Yes. <laughs> Somebody's drifting in a Hellcat. Anybody else doing anything fun in Vegas? Anybody? Literally, just like raise your hand or something. What are you doing, ma'am? Hey, going to gamble. That's what you're supposed to do in Vegas, right? That's always fun. At least you're going to Vegas. I had a flight. We were delayed going to Atlantic City. But everybody's like, oh, yeah, Atlantic City's the place to gamble. I'm like, no, y'all never been to Vegas. I know Spirit's a cheap flight, but come on. It's, take that same flight, go to Vegas, enjoy yourself. You're going to a rodeo? That's cool. I didn't know they had rodeos in Vegas, actually, but I'm not surprised it's Vegas. It's your first time going to rodeo? 93 years old going to a rodeo, y'all. Yeehaw. So what did you think about that, my friend? Did that bother you? I would be so frustrated if I was on that flight. I know, right? These people just want to travel to their destination. It's so weird that he was doing that. Why are you doing that? I don't know. It really made me was mad. Was he just trying to kill time? No, was it was his opportunity. It was like he thought of it like an open mic or a workshop. Like, okay, I'm going to work. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's talking to the pilot saying, oh, my God, Frank, I'm going to try this one tonight. This is going to kill. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you should refer to it as Second City or Groundlings training. No, I did it just for context as far as like they're doing comedy. They're working out their comedy. You know, so it bothers you a little bit. Well, that's an insult to those institutions. Well, you know, I didn't mean that. Not, not you know, I didn't ma- mean it literally. I meant it as like an example of them, gotcha. like using that as okay. a comedy workshop or something. But you know, dude, stay in your lane. You're a flight attendant. <laughs> Offer them coffee, Coca Cola. Serve them their beverage. What you if know? it's his dream? Then go to the comedy club and do it there. Don't be a, do it in the air <laughs> as a flight attendant. You heard it from a main man, Stevie Weeby. But do you not agree? Am I... I agree. Shame on you, Spirit Airlines. When you hire people, make sure you screen them. Like you keep make, you keep being surprised by Spirit Airlines actions, like they're this. You know like, what? I'm a. i am I kind of don't like Spirit Airlines. Can I tell you why? Yeah. They don't offer you even peanuts or pretzels or nothing. Not even water. They don't offer you water, nothing. Nope. And then they take their carts, you know, down the aisle at least 10 times and they go, um, foods for purchase, <laughs> beverage for purchase. And no and one a, even looks at the, the, the menu. No one, no one buys. Everybody's eyes straight ahead. They're like, nope, nope. Or they're looking at the ground. They're pissed off. They're like, damn. You know what I like? I like United. Because at least United and American Airlines, they'll, they have coffee, bro. They'll give you a whole cup of coffee, cream and sugars. They'll even, uh, what's that thing they serve you? The waffle, the, the you know, the big waffle cookie thing. Oh, that, that thing is oh, good. Oh my God, with the caramel the in there. The strudel or whatever. Yeah, they'll throw extras to you. They're, hey, you want more? Yeah. It's like, that, that's great. Spirit. But you know why we fly there? You save about almost $80. Probably more. And I realize I'm so frugal. I was, you know, when you get your boarding pass, it said no carry-ons. And I was panicking because I didn't know that. I thought I my backpack was a carry-on. So I went up to the lady. I go, I have, it says no carry-on. She goes, no, that's your personal. You're fine. That's your personal. I'm like, oh, So you God. had the same panic attack every time you travel? Um, no. Well, when I see it, 
on the boarding pass, I freak out because I forget, like, is this a, per- is this a personal or carry on? Because it, it would be that could be considered a carry on. What, what I'm asking is, did you completely forget about the last time you traveled? This story is 100 percent. No, this verb- is the first time I told it. This story is Ryan, 100% is the first time I told it, right, Ryan? verbatim, literally verbatim no, from no, the last no, time no, you no. traveled. No. Yes. Really? Oh, I might have to ask Jordan to do some digging so we can Jordan, put them side you don't by have side. To, I'm sorry. I repeat a lot. Can I tell you why? But I'm surprised defense, you I didn't repeat, remember. I'm a repeater. I'm a repeater. I repeat. I'm okay with you repeating stories, but I'm surprised that you didn't re- because you said it freaked you out the the first time. I know, and it, it, it always freaks me out. And I can I'll continue to ask. Just it's like my OCD thing. I I'll continue to ask. I, I want to make sure. I need to talk to you. Am I okay? I need that okay from the person that you works there. You know what? I don't want to get off on a bad foot. Let's do some scissors, man. Yeah, let's do some spirit spirit scissors. <laughs> One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Are you doing this along with us at home? Twelve, thirty. We hope you're cleansing the air. Fifteen. How did you like that Polly Shore episode? Did you like it? Nineteen. Ooh, we had some fun. One, one, our pal Louise. Twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. Yes. All right. Sorry, you know, I'm sorry for repeating. I know, I know I repeat a lot. You don't have to apologize. No, but my mom even calls me. She goes, I, I know, Steve. You say, I, be, I know, you know, like she gets mad. <laughs> Why? Because I'm doing the accent. What, what's going on over there? She goes, no. I know. The last you time, no, no. Kwang, the last the, time you apologized for repeating, <laughs> you brought up your mom. <laughs> all right, let's edit all that out, man. <laughs> You know what? I only ate one meal today, man. See, I, that's re- why, I even, that's I even why, repeat the re- I even repeat the, the repeated story. That's why I gave you food because because <sighs> because uh, Steve was getting a little irritable while we were hanging stuff. No, up. I wasn't. I was, dude. It was a group effort. I was there with you guys, right? We we'll we, all, we were all getting a little irritable. I created a a, a Boy Scout, um, Eagle Scout, and I appreciate that monster um knot, and it's hanging. See, it looks great. Looks really good. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. I'll try not to repeat. I don't. I can't help myself. I just. I think there's a blank spot, and I just feel like, oh, I'll say you're that. spiraling. You're spiraling. I'm, Everything's I'm out okay. Of control. You're okay, dude. You're okay. good. Everything. You're in a safe let's, place, let's man. Turn it back you're in a positive. safe place, man. Um, let's turn it positive though. But I have been waking up earlier, haven't I? Yeah. That's been when cool. When did you take notice at that? Um. <laughs> You called me at an earlier time when I was on. I was three hours ahead of you on the East Coast in and Virginia. I called you in the morning, didn't I? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Why are you up?" Well, you know, I love my girl, and you know, I'm trying to change more in a positive direction as far as my sleeping schedule. Mm. Um, there's still a lot that I have to work on. Um, the one thing that I know bothers her is. Uh, I always have my phone on do not disturb and I'm trying to work at that. I don't know what it is. I, I get easily kind of panicked when I hear any notifications. It freaks me out. Really? Yeah, the sounds or even hearing the phone rattle. I'm like, oh, you know, it freaks me out. But I'm working on it, you know. You don't do do not disturb, huh? I've started doing it when I sleep recently. <laughs> You've turned me on to it. On do not disturb? I'll turn it on uh, when I'm I'm taking a nap. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, mm-hmm. yeah. Can I tell you a, a hack around that though? Huh. And uh, if the person tries calling you, it won't go through the first time. If you do it two times in a row, it'll go through. On do not disturb. Yeah. You want to test it out? Let's test it out. So. Um, <laughs> Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. So I'm going to put... It's all, Mine's on Do Not Disturb. So call me once. At, and then I bet you if you call two times in a row, it'll go through. I'm not in right now, so I'll leave a message and I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. So call me twice. Okay. Uh, immediately. Really? Answer it. Hello? Hey. Hey. It's Jeremiah. It's Jeremiah. Oh, what's going on, man? I was taking a nap. 
Hey, uh, we got are Patreon you still coming th- over? <laughs> but we have Patreon content we got to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So we want to do a Zoom call, a conference call with our patrons. I'd like to do some gaming. Okay. What game do you want to play? Fall Guys. Fall Guys. Okay, I'll download it right now, partner. Okay. Okay. I love you. Love you too, buddy. Talk to you soon. <laughs> I told you. Do you work- know how many thousands of times I've heard your voicemail? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Thou. How Steve, many times? Thou. <laughs> thousands. Don't, not a thousand. That's too much. Probably hundreds. Thousands. Really? How frustrating is that? But you know the this hack. Is a, now. This but is you a, know the hack now. I just showed. I shouldn't have showed him that, <laughs> dude. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot, dude. I'm so I just happy showed him you the showed hack. me the hack. I showed I'm literally him the so, hack. So uh, you have no idea how excited I am that you showed me that. I shouldn't have showed you the hack. You, you know who? How do I reverse? Can we get wait, back in the time your, machine and does, not? Does your man? That makes does me every, mad. Does every? Does everybody in your circle know that hack? You just Only my ma- girlfriend. Oh. But now about... Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh, did Ryan just call you twice? Ryan? Ryan just called him twice. That so it works, confirmed. It works. So, Dude. Hey, this is uh, educational. So people at home, if you have a person, that one person out of your friend group that put d- does do not disturb, you know the hack. Yeah, but if it's on silent, though. But it still rattles. I mean, it rattles the phone and you're alerted to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. God, Apple needs to fix that. We got to fix that. Do not disturb should be do not disturb. But I'm working on it, okay? Getting a lot better, okay? Been getting up at 9, 30, 10 in the morning, man. Do you feel like you have so much time in your life now? I mean, I still get my stuff done. I just... Oh, can we talk about this that I found out about? Think about it before you say it. Think about it. Protein bar. Coming to a store near you. Think about a protein bar. Stevie Weeby style. The way you record your albums blew my freaking mind tonight. It freaked his mind out too. Because, okay. So I've listened to your albums and I have always thought that you were specifically putting a very specific stylistic filter on your voice. Well, there's a f- still a f- specific f- specific filter on it. I just don't use a mic. I literally sing and rap into the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> it's raw. I don't use a mic. Steve has put out a lot of <laughs> multiple <laughs> multiple albums. Al- Without that he a mic. has been <laughs> screaming <laughs> into the tiny little teeny the weeny hole. little hole <laughs> in a laptop. Yeah. If I you thought- are anybody who has ever recorded music and you're listening to this, your your brain is exploding right now. Is that is that a foreign idea? I don't- <laughs> it's it's so I'm it's the only so one that, wild, bro. I'm the only one that does that. Guaranteed. The only Gar- person that would do that, that w- th- I did that when I was in eighth grade, bro. <laughs> we have that, to edit so much out of this Steve, episode. That brother. was the last time oh. I used the internal mic. I was on an iMac. That's how I used to make music in GarageBand when I was in eighth grade, brother. I still do it that way. You know what's going to happen now? All the DMs. I'm going to have no, these no. audio engineers hit me up like, dude, Steve, you got to get the Newman 547. You're going to... You know, if you want to consider yourself a real musician, man, you got to do it right. Here's what I, You got to get the Newman. It's like, I don't care. Can I, I want it to sound bad. Can I just say that? Right. I want it to sound bad like how rest in peace daniel johnston it's he used to like he used a uh, tape recorders and one accordion and he would like sing in the garage a literal garage and just do it like that i want it i just want to put that out there i don't want it to sound good i want it to sound like really just raw mm-hmm. and just like bad you know because i know it's not going to be on the radio i don't do it for that i do it because just a, it's a good expression it's right. like yeah it's kind of like when you're a painter and you're like, I don't want to use good paint. Could you, could, could I ask you to do something maybe? 
What, use a microphone? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what blew his mind. He's like, hey, we're hanging up the stuff. You're in there getting some other stuff. He goes, how's that new audio interface working for you? I'm like, oh, it's it's good. It's really improved the sound quality. And he goes, really? And, I, and then, uh, Ryan, how, this refresh is, my memory. How did the other thing I, come up? I, I, oh, you talked about the NPC. I, 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 I want to do this for the listeners uh, real quick. If you are an audio engineer or you are a DJ or you're somebody who's really good at Pro Tools or or whatever ah. you end up using, Logic, whatever. You are a producer. Or Ableton or any Ableton, like whatever. The, yeah. This is what I would like for you to do, Steve. Yeah. Could you just do a bar, very simple, and uh -huh. I want our scissor siblings to produce you a beat around it with the vocals, because these are SM7Bs, these are really nice mics. <laughs> Michael Jackson recorded with this for Thriller. These SM7Bs, these Shures. Oh, is that the name of this? The the condensers? Yeah. These are really good mics. They're called. Yeah. So I want you to do one bar, and then I want. I'm open. I'm open to it. How about this? How about um, I could because uh, that interface I got, I could just hook a mic through it, right, Ryan? Yeah. Okay, then I'll just I could just do that, and I'll give it a shot. I just just. I didn't know that. I thought it was mostly for uh, like a keyboard or a drum machine, having it filtered through that as a medium, a conduit into the laptop. I didn't know. And then, but duh, there's several like, you know, quarter inch holes. The Another one I'm not using. And yeah, you're right. I, I should have just, I don't know. I think I just got so used to... Uh, you know, doing it that way, I didn't even bother hooking it up. But now, since I'm only because I only have one song completed, I'm gonna redo it. No, no, with I, a microphone. But here's the How thing, though: that? I'm not trying to mess with your creative process. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm wanting to do this as an experiment, so you, you can a b it yourself to see the so difference. So I want you to say or or sing just like one line mm -hmm. of anything. It doesn't mm -hmm. even have to rhyme or anything. Mm -hmm. And then I want to see what our scissor siblings can produce from that one line. Does that make sense? Oh, with in the microphone? Yeah, so just seeing like Stevie Weeby here. I like farts. You know, something oh, like that. Right, 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 right. And then they, they could uh, And then they just, can pull the audio but from But what's this. the purpose of that? Just to see the quality of yeah. what opposed uh, the laptop? Yeah, just so you can A B it for your personal because you oh. may not you may not like it sounding higher quality. That's why I'm not trying to impede on your creative yeah, process. I mean I I do kind of like it sounding kind of like rough like that. Right. I think it's because, you know, all the albums, the uh, at least some of the stuff, I think it has a lot to do with the Beastie Boys. Like, you know, like, uh, what's that album? Check Your Head, the way they sounded on um, So What You Want, you know? Right, right, right. And I'm like, oh, I like that distortion, you know? Like, sure. And um, I think that a lot of them... I, there's different ways. I think they, they didn't do what I did. They obviously had a mic, but I think maybe they used a Fisher Price mic or you know like one of those like one of those kid mic things yeah. and I don't know I just yeah I should definitely get with the the technology I don't know I'm just I'm really old fashioned in that sense you know so I, so 8th grade huh you were well, doing that in 8th grade I'm just asking you to say a line I'm not asking you to I don't think you're hearing me out. I don't want you to change your creative process. I want you to just listen to the difference. So say into the mic, uh, Ryan and I are going to be quiet. I want you to say something like, Stevie Weeby here, think about it. Something like okay, that. Okay, Stevie Weeby here, you know, well, think give about it. Give it. a gap after, uh, just give a pause after. Stevie Weeby here, think about it. Yeah. Stevie Weeby here, think about it. Okay, that's fine. Can we go on to the next topic, please? <laughs> yeah. Next topic. Next topic. <laughs> Next topic, please. I like how you really, Next really topic, didn't really listen to yeah. what I was saying the entire time. I, I'm so hungry right now. The bar is okay, but like, no, 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 no. Eat it. Now. Do you have any, uh, maybe, topics or anything you want to talk about? I want you to eat that freaking cream pie. Eat my cream pie. <laughs> Dude, that's so disgusting. I'll yep, let it slide. But are you going to eat it? Yeah, I'll eat your cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's even more gross. What? It's been warm because it's been in your pocket. <laughs> I was going to eat it it's as a... It's so warm. You hid this? this I, is I had it in my this... pouch. Scissor Brothers!
Cheers! Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? I got me some brand new Scissor Bros hot sauce. Good on any food you can imagine, including chicken pot pies. Stand Up on the Spot is moving to its own dedicated channel in 2023. Subscribe now at youtube.com slash at standupots. This series is completely self-produced and I'm going to continue to give you this show for free. All I ask in return is that you subscribe to the new channel, like, comment, and share as much as you can. Thank you so much for your support. Now please enjoy Stand Up on the Spot. How many snacks do you have in your place? Well, that man? one was for this me. This guy's got every single fucking candy bar, that granola one, bar. That one. He's got these Betty Sue cream pies. <laughs> Betty Sue. <laughs> Betty Sue. Cream pies. Betty Crocker. I don't fucking Betty, know. Betty, <laughs> Betty Crocker's ratchet sister, oh Betty Sue. God, she dude. can't pay rent on Look time. Look at this thing, man. This thing's. You better eat all that. like a warm gummy bear. You better man. eat all of that. Pocket. You better eat oh all of that. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, Lord. What kind of episode is this? I was, hey, man. You know what? I was I was going to eat that. Mm, these are pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. but can I ask you something? You know, I was Did gonna, you grow up with these? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. These was, are pretty good. Yeah, I was going to eat it. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Yeah, Why do you I, like these? Because you know what? They kind of remind me of granola, like a peanut butter coat. Uh, yeah, there's oatmeal and, and stuff in yeah, it. Yeah, oatmeal, oatmeal. You know what I was going to eat that in honor of? What? Me becoming a, a a a dad a second time around. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Because you know it what? represents a cream pie. You do have strong sperm, don't you? <laughs> I thought about that the other night. I'm like, you were thinking about it. I'm like, wow. Like, how does? I mean, that's just strong, dude. The way it just. Boom, just first try, boom, right to the egg. Yeah, no? full court press. And it's probably, oh, yeah, and then you're probably, your sperm's probably just, boom, getting in there. Um, Now, do you, um, I mean, that was, you You don't, you can't plan something like that. It's just something that organically happens, right? You There's, like, no plan. Uh, there's things that you can do. Like, what do you mean? Like, give me some examples. Well, you can, you can get, like, um, uh, ovulation sticks basically where it, when you pee on them and it tells you exactly your window of time of like oh. when when the female is ovulating the mm -hmm. the highest chances of mm -hmm. it happening mm -hmm. um we didn't do that this time around we just started trying for the second one and it was again first try again now when you ejaculate um uh-huh do you do you go full pelvic thrust in it or do you is it just like you know, because there's differences where, you know, when you, before you you bust a nut, like you could kind of like barely kind of thrust in there where it kind of drizzles both, in there. Both times. Or do you like fully like thrust in there? Both like, times. Uh, like, and then it just fucking shoots like a well, cannon. Both times that I did it, I was like, I think I got my wife pregnant. <laughs> Dude, I bet you a lot of sperm comes out of your penis. Like a lot, yeah. And I bet you it, yeah. I bet you it really shoots out so like, cause that initial squirt. Cause I thought about, I'm like, how is he like? Are you a drizzler? I don't know. I mean, I'm a sizzler. <laughs> <laughs> Have you okay? A better a a better question is when you're when you masturbate, do you do you do it like when you ejaculate? Does it just squirt up on your tummy like? Or does it get in your belly button, or do you let it like squirt up to your chin or something like that? <laughs> How's that cream pie? It's melted. No, it's not. I'm, you I'm press gonna the... eat it still. No, but answer my question. I mean, do you? I mean, are you comfortable talking about that? It's good distance. I mean, how strong? Like how much? Length. I'm not. It? I mean, I'm not you have, dodging you it. I know, but because I remember, like, when I was younger, I would do it and and uh, and then uh, and then you'd nut, and then sometimes it would hit like right up here, like sure. you know what I mean. I don't have that kind of range anymore. I'm mm. older, you know. 
Yeah. Do I, do you have you still have that initial good burst of yeah. sperm? Okay, that's all I'm asking, man. Pretty, I'm not judging you. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's not like Steph Curry, but it's like you know. But does it get does it go further than your belly button, like up to your chest, or do you do it like that? I mean, I haven't been aiming that way for a while. Like when you're in a hotel room by yourself and you're you're on the road and you feel like jerking off, um, like um, I could see you like placing a towel, like a hotel towel, on your chest. Like, how does that work? Are you comfortable talking about it? It's Kleenex. I think mm -hmm. we. I'm pretty sure we talked about it, but I, it's Kleenex. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's the guilt. There's no guilt. It's yeah, human. there is. It's you're human, dude. No, no, Come no. on, dude. You're I know, human. but you can't tell me that I went to if there's guilt or not. I mean, I, there's guilt around it. Why? Because you're I, not committing a sin. That's not sinful. I mean, you're a loyal husband to your wife. Yeah, but if I'm looking at something that I'm not, you know, I'm not proud of, then there's guilt associated with it. I mean, but you're a dude. I mean. You're guilty watching porn or something? Come on, man. <laughs> it, yeah, sometimes. I mean, you're no saint. I mean, come on, dude. I, it'd be weirder if you didn't do that. It's weirder if you're a dude and you're like, I don't, I've never jerked off, you know? I mean, that's right. those kinds of guys end up like going on murder sprees. Who knows? You know, those are the kind of the crazies. I think like if they contain that in because when you when you ejaculate, you're releasing something and you you could. Be normal. You can feel normal again after, you know? At least that's how I feel. <laughs> I could sleep way better. Well, yeah, of course. I love it. I pass out. Yeah, huh? I pass out. You pass out. Yeah. Okay. I know it's kind of a beaten topic. I mean, we've talked about it so much. I just, You know, you've grown a lot because at least you're talking about it, you know? And a lot of people are uncomfortable talking about it. Hey, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You uh, know, I've always wanted to do some kind of... Uh, challenge that w with that topic but we won't talk about it now but in the future <laughs> was it right ryan? ryan what's going on what with that challenge yeah we're in a hotel room he's in his bed i'm in my bed and it's all everything's under the covers and then you could be maybe in the middle i have to be there well you have to time you have to be we need a referee <clears throat> you know yeah, you have black light goggles on. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's see the sheets are up only where he can see them. Oh and as soon God. as he see black light. <laughs> yeah. And then he has latex gloves and he's like dipping into the semen. <gasps> okay. I, right. I lost you guys. <laughs> I lost. I'm so sorry. That's what a hamburger's <laughs> all about. Yeah. Um, do you have any um? Didn't you just travel? Didn't you just travel? I've been on the road. I know, brother. Let's hear, some, let's hear some stories. Okay. Well, I did have this incident happen pretty recently. That was um in Virginia. What happened? Richmond, Virginia. Okay. There was a lady who, during my set, uh, I never really do this on my shows, but. I was doing like a bunch of impressions at the end of the, uh, my set, which sometimes I'll do like a medley of impressions, but people felt the need that they, they want to start calling out impressions to see if I could do them. Mm -hmm. And somebody yelled out an impression okay. and, okay. um, and can you get into it or, uh, well, I actually have footage of, Oh, it, that happens if you want to take a look. Cool. Oh, what the frick just happened? What is Joe Cocker? What would you do if I say I don't do? Oh, what the frick just happened? What is what? She said. She said, don't let them hear it in the mic. And then she just goes, you're so beautiful. Yo, I know how to make women wet in Virginia. Just start singing Joe Cocker. 
and the floodgates open. She came running. She's like, she thought it was Joe Cocker. She had an acid flashback from back in the day, and she just started coming up. She's about to unbuckle my belt and just go to town on me. And I'm like, what would you do? If I stay out of two. I'm like, what? Dude, when you left, we were joking about somebody appearing on stage behind me, and I just freaking had a heart attack. Wow. What was going through your head when this was happening in real time? She genuinely freaked me out because I was so dialed in on, you know how I get with my act outs where I'm just like. Oh, you're committed. You're fully committed. Right. So I when I that. looked up and I saw that there was a lady right next to me, that was genuine me freaking out. Like it was she a crept, jump scare. Because she, she crept up on you. Yeah, dude. If it was a dude who wanted to punch me, I would have been lights out. Like I would not have seen it at all. Because it happened so it happened quickly. happened so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Now, why, why don't. They have security. There's no security there. They do technically, but yeah, they just. I mean, they, they thought that to... she was going to the restroom, and she walked towards the stage, and yeah. Did did, did she get kicked out of the club after I that? I think afterwards, or... yeah. That freak you out. I mean, the, the, yeah. that, that freaked you out. Yeah, that jump scare was legit. I wasn't like overacting or anything. Is that the like, first time something like that's happened to you while you're doing? No, your I've thing? had I've had a handful of people try to walk on stage. Sure. And how do you, each time's different though, but what, what, what's your mindset like? Because you have to flip and you well, focus you try on your to, act, right? You try but then to, you're like, you try to make light of it and make a joke out of it. Um, right. You know? And then what's the worst possible thing that could happen? Like someone, like you mentioned someone physically assaulting you on stage. That's, yeah, that's the worst. That that's the worst. Probably, yeah. And that person would be blackballed. I mean, that's it. Forever. Yeah, most likely. Wow, dude. Yeah. Now, what's worse, someone physically coming up or uh, what if a, a guy's drunk or a lady's drunk and they're like just heckling the crap out of you? Uh, that's easier to deal with because... Than the physical someone coming on stage. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, while I was in Virginia, this was like the beginning of December mm -hmm. I was in Virginia and mm -hmm. I walked outside and there's a parade going on. What kind of parade? My hotel. Well, that's what was so shocking to me. It was a Christmas parade. Already? Okay, I'm in Richmond, Virginia, and then I walk outside the hotel, and all of a sudden, there's a freaking parade going on with Ghostbusters cars, a frosty snow pan, and then there's like a drum line and stuff like that. I have no idea what's going on out in Richmond right now, but there's people standing in the rain celebrating something. Maybe I'll find out here in a little bit, but it's going for a ways. Ooh, things are getting wild out here. There's Santa Claus. Oh my goodness. No parade is complete without our friend Santa. Oh, wow. And then there's people waving. Oh, it's a Christmas, it's a Christmas parade. There it is right there. It says Christmas parade. Oh my goodness. Why in the heck is there a Christmas parade going on on December 3rd? I have no idea. Wow, this is incredible. Yay. Yay. Yeah. This parade gets five out of five scissors. They're getting close and soon you won't be able to hear me. Wow. Now, Virginia is, what are your thoughts on just virginia i like it it's fine you like it yeah now the virginia where you're at is it the universe is it near virginia tech or the university of virginia is, this is richmond virginia so i don't think it was i mean but, as far as schools like i don't i actually don't know what oh, colleges okay. are close to it all right i was just i was asking it's where the civil war was lost oh my god there's probably so many ghosts there they lost i've heard souls. that there's a lot of like uneasy like like yeah. places and like like some wild haunted places absolutely absolutely yeah yeah we still got to do our like ghost adventures oh, we I still know. haven't done it yet i know it's like come on man like what needs to happen do we need to take initiative yeah and hit them up be at like this point. Dude, yeah, yeah at this point okay that's fine yeah oh but um, i went to the civil war museum you did Mm-hmm. what was that like 
Walking over a highway in Richmond, Virginia. Now this is pretty beautiful. The canals of Richmond, Virginia. It's pretty nice. Wow. Not too shabby. Whoa. Yo, this is epic. Powerful. Wow. This is pretty crazy. Look at the wardrobe back then. Classic guns. Okay, this is a prosthetic arm from the 1800s. Amputations save lives. Surgeons learned that amputation of wounded limbs improves survival rates. Oh, this is what they used to cut it. Uh, gnarly. These boots are kind of big. Okay, they're really big. I mean, okay, where do these things, oh my. Yeah. Dude, this new Balenciaga is really, really offensive. This old school money is dope. Wow. These are national banknotes over here. Treasury notes. As you can see, some of them look similar to what we still have today. Just kind of bigger, slightly more intricate, or more neat. Cost of outfitting a single soldier in 1861 versus today. Dollar ninety-eight for shoes, three fifty for trousers. Wow. Not a bad deal. Yo, there's a wedding going on right next to the Civil War Museum. If that's not the most Richmond thing I've ever heard, I don't know what else is. Dude, that's crazy, man. Pretty wild, just the history of all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Some of it's pretty yeah. heavy, Yeah. obviously. A lot of bloodshed. Yeah. Yeah. Hundreds of that, thousands. Oh, yeah. Um, on a side note, I uh, this one goes out to you, Gerald. I, I found... A little bit of competition for you. I found a Gerald 2.0. I wouldn't say that. This is a message for Gerald. I'm at LAX. I love you, Gerald, but you have met your match. Look at how enormous this guy is. This is Gerald 2.0. Gerald's competition. Look at those legs. What do you got to say to that, Gerald? So what are your thoughts on that? Do you feel threatened by that? A little intimidated? You know you're our guy. But, uh, I mean, do you see that thing? I think it was enormous. Let him talk. Go ahead, Gerald. What are your thoughts? It's not the size of the neck. It's the motion in the ocean. You and Jeremiah should know better than that. Do you think he has a point, Steve? Mm hmm. I guess so. I mean, yeah. I respect your opinion. You better, you bitch. We still love you. Okay, I love you too. Sorry about that. Not only that, can I go? Because I got some new ink on me as well. You you yeah, got, got another a, um, new one? Yeah, I have a honey badger. <laughs> Gerald, you're next. I've always been fascinated with the honey badger. Right. So I have it right here. Okay. And um, this is called microblading. Um, it's interesting because uh, my girlfriend got uh, an appointment for both of us. We both got tattoos, and it's uh, matching. No, no, no. She got her own thing, and I got my own thing. But you know, we had. Would our, you ever do a matching tattoo? Um, yeah, I, yeah, I would. I would. Yeah, I mean, it would have to be something kind of like where you know, I mean, it wouldn't be like 
the person's name on your forehead or something, you know? Right. It would just be something that's just general, yeah, you know? Yeah. But this place, it's called microblading, and it's, I guess they use a single needle. And I didn't know this because I don't know, like, you know, hair salons or, you know, women's nail salons. But this place, they specialize on eyebrow tattoos. Oh, they tattoo eyebrows yeah, on. Yeah, where I didn't even know that this A world, lot of ladies like that. Yeah, where yeah. that's why she's so good at doing these little tattoos is because, uh, you know, you need a steady hand. She's used to doing thin eyebrow tattoos to make it look like hair. It's insane, dude. What, what if you did it a little bit too much and you always look surprised after? <laughs> <laughs> like a, just like off a, just like a little bit, like. That's hey. why you re- you have to respect what she does. Is because yeah, she yeah, had, yeah, yeah. you need it. Yeah, I mean, this is a person's face. How painful? Because I thought about that. Because oh. this, this one kind of hurt. I forgot how much Dude, the wrist hurts. Freaking bone right I, exactly. here. Exactly. Imagine Ugh, these your ladies eye sockets. These ladies getting eyebrow tattoos and like having to like sit still for like an hour. Oh my god, the <laughs> agonizing pain. So going back to this place, yeah, this microblading. I liked how you and, just um, said that. Here's a picture of it, a better picture of it. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, we can keep talking as we've established wild, <laughs> oh, wild pictures. Oh, okay. So it could be on the corner. Or yeah. Something. Oh, okay. But you know what, though? Yeah. I. You know what? Just because you did it that way, yeah. we'll cut to the picture for five seconds so people can see and see have no audio along with it. Ready? No, I'd rather just do it the... <laughs> What a fun episode. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, and so I'm, um, yeah, I think I'm going through a bit of a tattoo frenzy. Uh, I'll stop after a while. I'm going to get a few more pieces, then I'll just take a full on break. I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. What? Yep. Th- you're just, is this a bit or? No, I got, um, I don't know why I got really in, like really inspired at the um, the Edgar Allan Poe museum that I went to. Keep going, and just the way he writes and his life and his mysterious death and everything. How did he just, die again? It's, it's, it's kind of mysterious. Well, I, I, Ed- sh- I should have paid a little bit more attention on the tour guide. <laughs> They said mysterious, and then I kind of got ADD, and I took your call because you were kind of oh. you interrupted the. You interrupted oh, I'm so the tour, sorry. You interrupted the Edgar Allan Poe I tour. I didn't even know I interrupted the your Edgar Allan Poe tour. I took the phone call from my sister oh, brother. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You should have said I was in the dirty uh, dude. You're I'm in the you Edgar Allan Poe. You seemed kind of distraught. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Thanks for picking up. Of course, I'm here for okay, you, brother. Okay, so it's mysterious death. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna get but some of his words on you? I might get a I might get like a little crow or something like that. Really? Like to represent the raven, you know? Oh, dude, I already know the where it could be placed. Where? On your neck. You think? Yeah. Like right dude, here? You would look gangster. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Rod? Yeah, super gangster, dude. That's, super that's gangster. Screams gangster. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Think about it, dude. Okay. Let's give a let's get, take a little poll out there as far as the placement. Where? The placement? Yeah. If he decides to get this tattoo, where should he get it on his body? Yeah. Comment below. Yeah. And we got to vlog the crap out of that. We got to be there and do that. That's going to be a special day. Get Dresden to come down for this one. Yeah. But I got some good footy at the Edgar Allan Poe Museum. You did? The Poe Museum. Let's check it out. Yeah. This is Edgar Allan Poe's bed big reveal it's freaking tiny dude if this was his childhood bed i get it but if you're trying to make sweet love to a woman on this thing it's cramping your style a bit these old school irons are cool pretty cool wow a lot of stuff from his childhood It's a mantle from Joe's, Margaret Cho's bedroom. Wow, I can't believe I'm in Margaret Cho's. I can't talk right now. (laughs) 
<laughs> this is Poe's chair. He sat in this while editing the Southern Literary Messenger in the magazine's office about five blocks from here. Wow, how little is this dude, Edgar Allan Poe? He must have been a little, little shrimp of a man. He must have been playing catch with the raven. Look at this guy. Yeah. This is a cool spot. All right. Get buried alive. Step inside this coffin and get a taste of the claustrophobic terror Poe describes in The Premature Burial. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm so tall on this thing. Yep, if I got buried alive in this coffin, it'd be terrifying. Need more poetry in your life? Want to make someone else's day a little more poetic? Simply write a poem on a blank piece of paper and leave it in the box. Okay, a lot of people have written stuff in here. And I'm putting Sir mix a -Lots. I like big butts. A true poet. Look how little this dude was. These his little cute little stockings. In his vest. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, yeah. Stevie, what you think? I bet you'd tear him up in a wrestling match. Yo, this is some dark stuff. This is one of Poe's enemies while he was alive. And in revenge for Poe's attacks against him, Griswold wrote a biography that portrayed Poe as a drunken scoundrel and madman who based his horror stories on his own life. Unfortunately for Griswold, the biography made Poe more famous than ever, while Griswold is now nearly forgotten. And that's his wife. Why do the eyes follow you? Getting creeped out in here. There's a freaking black cat. Right here, dude. What if it's a ghost that's haunting these grounds? It has a collar on it. It's probably alive. Poe has got to be stoked about this sign. Blush no more. Did you like that footage of yeah, Poe's cool. museum? It's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, museums are always cool, right? Yeah. Calms you down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Ryan, do we have any... Um, as far as our question segment, do you have anything for us? We have a question, but we also have a song. No, oh, why don't you play the song? Yeah. Someone submitted and this is original music? Yep. Okay. Original music. This one is from our friend Benjamin. Okay. He says, hello, my scissor bros. Been a while since I wrote something for you guys, and I appreciate you implementing the other songs in past episodes. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys and the family enjoy this one. So here we go. It's called Scissor Time. <laughs> Hello friends, it says a time again Welcome in everybody to the Sears land We have grown scissor sisters, won't you see? That sounds bad, baby. You know just what I mean. Stevie, Weeby, Jeremiah, Ryan, you're the perfect company. Yeah, baby. Stevie, Weeby, Jeremiah, Ryan, you're the perfect company. Stevie, Weeby, Jeremiah, Ryan, you're the 
watch out, Bob Dylan. We got a new man in town. Ooh, wow, that was impressive. Yeah. And Ryan got incorporated in his first song. So you know he what? likes that one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> America's Got Talent. Watch out. We got yeah. a new man in town. That was a good song. That was a really nice one. Thank you very can much. Can we shout him out again? Does he have an a, uh, Instagram or anything? Uh, yes, he does. It is Peters underscore Pickles. Shout out to Name Peters Pickles. Oh, yeah, Benjamin. Good. Wow. Dude. That was cool, man. That was cool. That was great. I loved it. Wow. Loved it. Hmm. We Give also have a question. And by the way, if you want to send uh, other songs oh, yeah. or, or you want to send uh, anything else like uh, a produced version of Steve's Think About It line, you can email scissorbrospod at gmail.com. Your questions, your uh, your your art. Um, and females, too, and, please. And we, music. Want some, we need some female. Let's get some female artists in here. Oh. Some musicians. Or, yeah. Yeah, some music. Or, yeah. 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 We want to encourage that. Mix it up a little Dude, bit. Dude, did I tell you that on one of my <coughs> IG lives, I was stoked because, like, a scissor sibling, like, connected, like, and she happened to be attractive. And one of the next guy that hopped on the live that with me, he said he almost spilled his coffee from seeing this girl's cleavage, and no other girls signed in on my live after that. <laughs> So I want to tell my sister brothers out there to not be creepy when I'm going on my lives. I had a normal conversation <gasps> with um, this nice girl no. and other guys that were in the chat, but one of our sister siblings creeped out real hard and it ruined it for the rest of the people that were on the IG live. Boner killer. Oh my God. I was like, guys. Oh my God. I know. Boner killer. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, go ahead and play that question. <laughs> <laughs> Good timing. Go ahead. Hey, Jeremiah and Stevie Weeby. Hope y'all are doing well. This is Hugh from North Carolina. I got a kind of a heavy question for you, but one I've been considering a lot in my own life. Looking back on your childhood, what's something you think your parents got wrong about raising you? Thanks for the uh, the laughs and everything, guys. Have a good one. Ooh, pretty touchy t subject there. You want it? Want me to start this one off? <laughs> sure. Just for all you parents out there, don't beat down your kids. <laughs> I mean, my dad gave us the most horrendous beatdowns. I mean, he was the scariest man on the face of the planet while he was taking a nap. You don't want to wait. You didn't want to wake that guy up oh, no. when he's taking a nap, dude. Steve. What? No wonder people got upset with me that I did those lashings on you with the belt. <laughs> Frick, man. No, you didn't know. Oh, you see, because it brought back, it was trauma. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. It's okay, brother. I mean, this is for the content. No, you didn't. I mean, come on, dude. That was for the con. That was content. <sighs> so to answer your question, uh, yeah, um, it's good to uh, be strict, set boundaries for your kids, be, you know, do all that as far as discipline. But you don't have like, don't do the beatdowns. You know, that's all. That, that I'm still. I mean. It affects you, man, you know? Yeah, of course. It affects you. Yeah. As far as the fear involved, what about you? What do you got to say to that? Okay, well, mine's going to be vague, but it'll be... You'll get the gist pretty yeah. quickly. Um, I would just say don't drink around your kids if you <laughs> cannot handle your alcohol. <laughs> And anyway, let's get to the challenge. <laughs> Hold on. That was, you are moving off that real quick. So that's yeah. all you got to say? Yeah. What? Get more specific. Could they drink a couple beers? Don't drink hard liquor? Come on, man. Let's get into it. I said if you can't handle yourself, then don't drink around your kids. It's, it's fair pretty simple. That's it's pretty fair. simple. So don't beat your kids. <laughs> don't drink around your kids. Right? On Scissor Bros, we don't want to do either of yeah, those things. Yeah, don't do any of that. You could discipline them. But no, but thank you for that question, them. though. Um, 
you know, that's how Steve and I feel. Uh, mm-hmm. Obviously, we both have issues with uh, the two topics that we brought up. Uh, oh, absolutely. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for the question. Um, before we move on to the challenge, because we, I noticed that we do have a package down here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's do that. Yeah. So this one's from uh, Jason Marino. And then let's see what we got here. And you can, if you are wanting to send something to the Scissor Bros PO box, uh, you can uh, mail it to Scissor. Br- uh, excuse me, Jeremiah Watkins slash SB, and it's PO Box seven eight three seven five, Los Angeles, California nine zero zero one six. Whoa! Is that a? It says uncircumcised penis. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. What? This piece of art. What? <laughs> this piece of art is freaking me the F out, dude. Dude, this is the scariest dude, art I've ever seen. Why? Why, why, the, do I why look, does it say it looks like aliens? Penis? <laughs> I don't know. What? I love it. Is it a mashup of our faces, Let me take too? It. I love it. No, we it's love so, it. No, thank well, you. But why? Well, just. Dude. Wait, wait. Am I on Hold the, up. I'm not even. Dude, there's a whole letter here. Am I on the left or the right of this one? <laughs> <laughs> uncircumcised penis what is that referencing and i don't then, dude he's steve. got his own comic book called ant aliens okay steve this is crazy uh, usually like, oh, he's in a sci-fi steve, too hold on this is insane listen listen what? to me brother what, what? Did we ever what? do a bit on this show about uncircumcised know, penises? We're both circumcised. I, I'm kind of confused. Yeah. Huh? Sur- no, we're both circumcised. Dude, I just thank. Hey, hold up, I need to read the first letter. First of all, dude. thank you for sending this in. That's very nice of you to to yeah. take the time to do this. And then this we're, Ant Aliens booklet too. <laughs> we're just a li- slightly confused, is all. We're created not created by Dina L- L- Larrabee and illustrated by J- uh, just Jason Marino. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Jason. Uh, can I read the letter real quick? Sure. Yo, Scissor Bros, I am finally including a letter. I apologize for not having any in the previous drawings you could see my balls and okay okay continue you guys have great content and i wish and i was only doing drawings as i felt inspired it wasn't sl- slided to one side either time honestly i feel like the weeby drawing with gerald gave jeremiah the advantage on inclusion in my drawings but we are all siblings here and now i have finally i have finally done a drawing with you both and in a moment i just felt should be immortalized as you made eye contact and said i first saw an uncircumcised penis i knew i had to draw the moment i took a pic screenshot should be included you guys have driven me to get into art again as well as inspiration for my cousin and second cousins i haven't really drawn since i was younger a friend and i had a friend and i had this drawing sheet we passed back and forth in class the theme was peaches and chimneys so just ima- so just imagine imagine so just imaginative cock and balls in many ways it was funny and then over time it was a it was a where's waldo game of finding the newest depiction i w- newest depiction i wish i knew what happened to that one anyway anyways i think i will include an attempt at a comic book i had with my ex-girlfriend she wouldn't stop talking about it so i drew it but that went nowhere i am sending it to show i I haven't drawn faces till my fan art for you it was always a speed bump for me but i'm feeling more comfortable with it now thank you guys for all the fun hope to bump into you at the store sometime the Liars Club will vouch for me. Jason Marino. P.S. I left you both in black and white to sort of kind of call back to Aha Take On Me. G- g- great song. I had sketched you guys, then I did that shading on Weeby's headphones, and I thought, oh, that's cool. My printing is why I typed the first portion. Don't tell my family, but I may have early Parkinson's. Oh. And... And on Ant Aliens, I hijacked this last two pages. It was my exhaustion. Oh, so this is his reference point. 
Okay. Thank you, Jason. Thank you very much. And this is uh, his uh, comic book, Ant Aliens. Okay. Let me put up the... Okay. Let me, I should do a side-by-side. All right. side. Yeah. All right. All right. With that being said, let's get to the challenge. Sounds good. <laughs> Uh, okay, today you two will be fighting off a swarm of moles by playing whack a mole. Now, you'll each have one shot as getting as many points as possible. One shot to get as many points as possible. You'll be using the mallet that's included, okay? Whoever loses becomes a mole. How do they become a mole, Steve? So basically, the loser literally will have to transform into a mole by putting on these mole teeth. So on top of putting on the mole teeth, you're going to have to eat what moles eat. We have snails inside this right right yep escargo escargo so the loser has to put on the mole teeth become a mole and eat what moles eat which are snails so there's six snails in here what do you think a good amount is the loser has to eat three sounds good three snails of course ryan's gonna say (laughs) sounds good what the frick dude so the loser has to put on become a mole by putting on these mole teeth and eating snails like a mole no these are dead i've never eaten a snail have you no yeah it's gonna be gross where did you get them don't worry about it he's great he he does his research it's a french restaurant you got them in yep yeah I mean, if there's some people like them. I don't know. I don't. Not looking forward to it. You want to get to it though? Yeah. Dude, these. T- <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? What is wrong with you, man? This is this is fun stuff, man. I'm having a blast. <laughs> Steve is good so far. Congratulations! You made it! This is so creepy, dude. What? Uh, I'm supposed to go? Yes! Oh god! I. <laughs> oh my god! Why did you. Oh man, I got. God damn it! I fucked up, man. You thought it was warming yeah, up? I thought it was warming up. Oh, I messed up, man. Congratulations. You made it. Shut up. Level three. Game over. 65. I didn't. I totally messed my thing up, but yeah, it's fair. That's fair. I thought. I didn't know. It's your turn. Okay. Yeah. That's an easy win for him. God damn it! <laughs> what? God, I right, get the teeth ready. <laughs> Dude, it's your day. Yeah, there's no problem. Dude, I missed like a whole minute. I was just watching it. <laughs> I know. I was like, what is he I doing? thought it was good. Yeah. <laughs> This is a no-brainer for him. Good, let it all out. Stevie's man. fart corner. Stay tuned. Are you gonna put a coin in? <coughs> Please choose a B. Bottom right. B one. No, no, hit, hit the bottom right. Speed yeah, there you go. Two. Speed seven. Level one. Speed seven? Yeah.
Good challenge idea, man. This is a good one, huh? Yes, it's pretty fun. What a pity. There's your score. 74? He won. Yeah. God, I, I knew he'd beat me. Good job, dude. Third point. Good job, dude. Good job. Good, good one. Steve, Steve finally went to the dentist. <laughs> Pull that mic closer to you. This is uncomfortable, man. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Those look so wrong on you. <laughs> they look so... Well, I don't even know what it looks like. I gotta eat fucking snails, man. This sucks. <laughs> Dude, this is not gonna be fun, man. <laughs> Dude, those teeth, man. Uh, what? What are they supposed... I don't know if I can eat with these things in. God damn it. Ryan, how much were these? Uh, they're like $18. Oh. Oh. Where do we go? Hold on. <laughs> what do you mean? You know what? what you, I don't even know how to put these in my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh. Do they still have the shell on them? <laughs> That's what I was gonna say! What the frick, dude? Why are you eating the shell on them? <laughs> you're a savage, brother. You're, you're my savage sister, brother. <laughs> That's gross! Oh! Oh! Oh, God, I gotta get her done! <laughs> Gonna get her done. Oh, gonna get her done, goodness, man. Oh, dude. God. I gotta get her done, man. You're number two. I gotta get her done, man. This <laughs> idea. Oh my god. Are you actually <laughs> swallowing them? Dude, hold up, man. <laughs> Are you yeah, swallowing man. the snail's you got hole? Good this week, man. You got me real good this week. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> Steve, Steve, brother, I appreciate that you you did the first two like that. You don't, you don't have to eat it with the shell oh, on. Yeah, you don't eat the shell, dude. You don't eat snails with shells on. <laughs> Worst part is I told him that before we did the challenge. <laughs> he doesn't listen, dude. <laughs> Give me a sec, man. Hold on, man. Dude, I smell them from here. It's uh, so There's potent. number three, baby. Oh, oh, God damn it. I can't look at it. Does it look pretty crazy or what? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, what if when, Dude, what if commentator, what if, it, man. I'm suffering over here. What if when Steve... Give us a commentator, what if, man. What if when Steve pulls out the fake teeth, his real teeth come out <laughs> Gosh. 
Go to patreon.com slash sister bros to get that exclusive content. YouTube.com slash sister bros. Tell a friend. We're having a great time over here. Us three, I'm done. Okay. Oh. Can I see them? Yeah, dude. Here. Oh. Oh my god, look at the teeth. Look. Look at my teeth. Right, look. Look at the teeth, dude. Ugh, <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's so... Hey, can you hand me a paper towel, man? God yeah. dang, that's disgusting. It's, all, it's on the mic, too. Oh, shit. God. Here, oh, here. first do you your hands. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's disgusting. Thank you. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh fuck. I mean, was that. I mean, you were laughing, right? Dude, I was crying. <laughs> oh. God, that's so disgusting. <laughs> so far away. You know what, Steve? Nah, you don't have to do it, man. We haven't done this in a long time, brother. No, oh, you're a trooper. You're gonna do that, man? You're gonna do that for me? That's love. This, Go ahead. this is for me, That's for all love. the people who said that I was a sore loser. <laughs> Stop. This is me. You don't have to do that. You this won fair and square. This is me paying the debt, man. You won fair and square. Don't do that. It's going to take away from the challenge, no, man. No, man. No, no, no. You eat the shell. Hmm? You eat it all. I don't like it. <laughs> Kind of tastes like boogers. I know. All right. How long is that? <laughs> <coughs> I don't like that it at all. That's gross. But you know what? I love you, brother. I love you too, brother. YouTube.com slash scissor bros. Patreon.com slash scissor bros for that exclusive Stick content. Stick around. Stick around. For Stevie's fart corner. <laughs> so now it's time. For the Stevie's Fart Corner. The Fart Corner. Stevie's Fart Corner. And the first fart is from uh, Relb D. Here we go. And another go. Steve, you said you said that you were gonna just gonna play them once. Okay, so good one, Rob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they don't get multiple plays from the same person. This is from Larry Taylor. Here we go. You said you wanted a fart, All right? Did he insert that inside himself? That was real. <laughs> Good job, Larry. That was from my main man, Larry Taylor. That fart was so close to the mic is what I'm saying. Oh. Next one is from my main man, Brian Barron. I kind of want to play it again, but I'll let it go. That was unique. Wow. It was unique because it was kind of like a, a machine gun. Good one, man. Brian, good one. Keep it up. And then the last one. Oh, hold up. This is from our main man, Michael Flowers. That was a good one. Mm, that one has notes of divorce. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember that's that's the guy whose wife wrote in saying that. Uh... And those are that's it. That wasn't so bad. That's what we have this week. There's oh. only like four or five. Yeah, see, not that bad. Now like we still did the challenge. Da 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 da. Bump 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 bump. See, 
Well, yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hope you uh, had a lot of fun with us on Scissor Bros. And uh, make sure to get a bottle of our hot sauce at yeah. revolutionaryhotsauce.com oh, slash Scissor Bros. Hold up. I have something to promote our hot we'll sauce. We'll put it in the middle. Right here. Well, we, we already showed it in the middle. Oh, okay. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> no, I thought I didn't know the sequence. All right, love you guys. Love Bye. you guys. Bye. <laughs> Um, hello? Is anyone still there? No, seriously. I'm curious because Steve keeps playing those farts and I don't know who's continuing to stick around or not. I mean, I like them alright. Sometimes I smell them through the phone or it's kind of odd. But other than that, it's good. Should we put it after Gerald's Corner in the future? Gerald's Corner? What, heroin? It's Gerald's thoughts. What's going on? Anywho, a lot of fun, exciting stuff going on. Um, Scissor Bros Live is coming to Houston in March 2023. We got a new hot sauce out, and then I helped produce a new stand-up on the spot that's out. A lot of fun stuff. We love you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, and hope your holidays are... Uh, coming up good. Love you. Bye.